But then the voice probed at her again. Some called me the protector of Triton Bay, but not in many moons. Well, are you a witch or a protector? asked Shelley. Would you believe that I'm both? A deep chuckle booming like thunder emanated from the watery shadows. <laughs> now, hurry up and make your wish. I really haven't gotten all day. Shelley couldn't explain it, but she felt like the voice understood her. One wish, Shelley said, then bit her lip. She closed her eyes. What did she want more than anything? To patch up her family? To be popular? To get certain people to notice her? Nothing was worse than having no friends. She couldn't let that happen again. There was one way she could be sure to get some popularity points. She needed to win her event against Judy Weisberg at the swim meet and advance to the championship meet. That way she could help her team win the trophy. That trophy mattered more than anything to Kendall. So Shelly had to do everything she could to help Kendall get her hands on it. Shelly opened her eyes. I want to be the fastest swimmer in Triton Bay, she said, so we can win the swim meet against Little River. Oh, my dear. Now, swimming is something I know a bit about. The dark shapes darted past the crystal balls again. Suddenly, an image projected onto the curved glass like a movie. Shelly saw herself in the championship swim meet. She dove off the block and plunged into the pool, easily outswimming her arch nemesis from the rival school and winning the freestyle race. She swam faster and faster, slapping the wall far ahead of Judy Weisberg. The image morphed into one of her standing on the top of the podium with a gold medal draped around her neck. Kendall and her friends, still in their swimsuits, swim caps, and towels, cheered for her with their coach. She saw her proud parents and Dawson rooting in the stands. Her mother then did something wild. She turned to Shelley's father and hugged him. Was it possible they could get back together? Could their daughters winning the race make them remember how great their family was? This wish could make everything in her life better. It was so clear, just like the crystal ball. The vision in the crystal faded, and Shelley found herself staring at her warped reflection. You can make all that happen, Shelley asked. She wanted it so badly, more than she'd ever wanted anything. If she could be the fastest swimmer, then she could make her friends happy, and better yet, make her parents happy, maybe even bring them back together again. Oh, my dear, Ursula said. All that and more. The vision reappeared in the glass. Shelley ran her hand over the image of her family back together. She, she touched her friend's jubilant faces and the gold medal hanging around her neck. The scene began to fade away again. No, wait, bring it back. She hit the glass, trying desperately to make the beautiful scene return. But it kept dissolving like a sandcastle washing away in water on the shore. Well, my dear, there's only one way to make it work, Ursula said as the image faded. I want it. Please help me, Shelley begged. Don't fret, my child, Ursula said. Of course I can help, provided you pay a price. Please, I'll do anything, cried Shelley. Anything, you say? Well, I like the sound of that. I have something in mind. Suddenly, a rolled up piece of parchment materialized before Shelley inside the crystal ball, hovering in the air in front of her. It glowed with the same eerie golden light as the Nautilus had, and as it unrolled, a fountain pen with a bony fish tail materialized. Her eyes scanned the length of parchment as she read the ornate script. A contract? Shelley asked. She reread the words scrawled on the page. I hereby grant unto Ursula, the, the witch of the sea, 
one favor to be named at a later date in exchange for becoming the fastest swimmer for all eternity. Go ahead and sign, Ursula said. I don't have all day, you know. Shelley swallowed hard and put the pen to the page, which rippled with golden light. Good girl, Ursula egged her on. Shelley hesitated, biting her lip. What favor exactly? What do you want from me? Oh, my dearie, all will be revealed in time, Ursula said, sounding perturbed. She swam around, shifting in the shadows like a murky cloud of billowing smoke. Her eyes glinted hungrily for a second. Great power was stolen from me by someone close to you. I cannot be a protector of the sea without it. All I want is for it to be returned to me, but all in good time. Great power? What? But what is it? asked Shelley. Tis, tis. You're wasting our precious time. Ursula's black tentacle emerged from the darkness and tapped on the crystal ball, pointing at the contract. Do you want to be the f- fastest swimmer or not? Many poor unfortunate souls would kill to be in your position right now. Shelley studied the contract and considered her situation. Returning something that was stolen didn't sound so bad. Stealing was wrong, of course. If anything, it would be good to write an, un- an old injustice. But still, something worried Shelley. Her mother always said not to act hastily. Can I think about it? She inquired. Think about it? Growled Ursula, no longer kind. What's there to think about, my child? Either you want your wish, or I've got better things to do with my time, and I can set you free to swim back through my cave with the hope you get out before something comes after you. It's what a child like you deserves for thinking it accept- for thinking acceptable to throw your toxic trash into my domain. I'm sorry. Please, I just need a day, said Shelley, peering again at the contract. It flashed with an intense light, then vanished. Nearly complete darkness flooded back into the cavern. My dear, as you wish. You have 24 hours to return to my lair and sign the contract, or our deal shall be rendered null and void. No takebacks, no second chances. Six black tentacles suctioned around the glass, cracking the crystal ball. Seawater rushed back in, silencing Shelley's scream.